cow! G'day guys, it's Books Amazing. Today we're back with Steam Saturday with one of our new favorites, 60 Seconds Reatomize, where we get to, um, yeah, escape a nuclear winter. So much fun, right? <laughs> Last week we played as Dolores and um, Dolores and her dog. Yeah, we lost the dog, though it didn't end well. Rest in peace. What? What? Dude, that was an alien just went by. They took one look at the world and they were like, peace! <laughs> we out. <laughs> Bye, aliens. Thanks for visiting. All right, guys, let's get started with this game. But before we do so, if you haven't done so yet, head on down below, hit that subscribe and ring that bell. The aliens are back. And... Um, that way you'll be notified if there are more aliens. I, I mean videos. If there's more videos, you'll be notified if there's more videos. Always the videos, not the aliens. Don't know there's no aliens. Aliens aren't real. We, we need to get into this game because we need to say bye to the aliens. Hi, aliens. <laughs> Let's get started. Hi, Ted. What's up? Okay, so challenges. Let's see. We've had Timmy and Dolores. We should see. Wait, what was that? Final countdown. We should see if there's any with um, Ted or Mary Jane. Okay, we got one for Ted, the lone wolf. Collect items and family members listed below. Make your way to the shelter before time runs out. This might be more than last time. That's a lot of things to collect. I don't know if Ted can do it. Let's see what we can do, Teddy boy. All right, Teddy boy. Here we go. I wish I could like zoom in or zoom out or something like that. Like something. There's a soup can. Grab that soup. Oh, there's more soup and water. Perfect. All right, let's go, Ted. Let's go. What's back here? Is that a padlock? There's another water. Grab that water. Grab that water. Okay, there we go. Get to the shelter. Come on, Ted. Wait, has everything moved? Hold on a second. I feel like things are different. Do we need a padlock? We don't need a padlock. We need a gas mask. Grab that gas mask. Ugh! Grab the gas mask. Okay, perfect. What's in here? Anything in here we need? Anything? First aid kit. First aid kit. Grab that first aid kit. Get to the shelter. Let's go, Teddy. We got this. Okay, we're working hard. Hardly working. I see the shotgun. I don't need the suitcase. I do need the shotgun, however. Grab the shotgun. Good job, Ted. Good job, Ted. We're doing this thing. We are doing the thing, Ted. Grab the axe. Grab the axe. Grab the axe. Get to the shelter. That's two. What else do we need? Okay, I haven't seen any of these other items. What the heck? Deck of cards? Under there. Deck of cards. Why am I getting a deck of cards? We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We don't need a deck of cards. We need to get out of here. Radio? Radio. Grab the radio. Go, Ted. Go, Ted. Go. Oh, Ted. Ted is dead. Dead Ted. How do we do? How do we get? I don't even know what we had. I managed to get a few things. That was pretty good. Normally, I only get like two or three each time, but this time we managed to get like five. I think it was more than that. I think it was like nine. Okay, it's the final countdown, Ted. Here we go. Oh, this has got lots. Okay, soup, water, anything hanging on the walls? Soup, water. Grab it, Ted. Grab the water. Come on, Ted. Seriously, what takes you so long to pick these things up? For reals, bro. Okay, dump that. Oh, gra oh grab the ammunition. Yes. Okay, go, go, go. Do we have a run? Does he run? I don't know if Ted runs. I think Ted's a runner. Okay, do I see a gas mag? Oh, and, and, okay, good. Oh, no, 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 not the soup, Ted. What are you thinking? Oh, geez. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got this. The map. Oh, the map, the map, the map. Okay, grab the map. Good, good, good. Map is good. Map is good. What's in here? Radio and and cards and flashlight flashlight okay good go ted go 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 drop that okay bug spray i've not seen bug spray anywhere i have not seen bug spray anywhere there's another water give me a water give me a, f a first aid kit give me a first aid kit give me a first aid kit dump those off um oh i'm missing bug spray where the heck is the bug spray i've not seen the bug spray one time this entire time we've been here it's usually is it right there look it's right there dang it buy a water too we could have gotten water and a bug spray first aid kit perfect ted Perfect, perfect. Grab a soup. Grab a soup and a water. Okay, good, 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 Ted. Anything else in here? Nope, nothing else in here. What do we got? We got no spaces. We got to get back to the shelter. Okay, let's go back to this room. Anything in here? There's the bug spray and we don't need another water. Don't take up space with things you don't need, Ted. Grab that thing. Chuck that in there. Okay, um, we need more soup. Oh, there's the rifle. Grab the rifle. Grab the rifle. There's something on the bed. No, that's not it. Padlock. No, 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 no. Nothing else in here. What's in here, Ted? What's in here? Radio? Okay, and a soup. Yes. Okay, that's two. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We need the flashlight. Flashlight and cards, which are usually in here. Cards. Grab it. Grab it, Ted. Grab the flashlight, Ted. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab the cards. Grab the cards. Grab the cards. Ted, you had the dang cards. Ted, you were so close. We had everything. We were right there. Super. So close. Okay, so we know we can do this. As long as we don't trip over chairs. That seems to be Ted's problem. He doesn't like chairs. He just kicks them instead of going around. I do like the idea of not running into everything. That kind of makes life a little bit easier. I'm not just kicking stuff all over the place. Not super easier, but a little bit easier. Okay, head back to the shelter. I say as I run into a chair. Okay, I see a gas mask. Grab the gas mask. I see a radio. Okay, that's two. Let's pop these back in here. Let's go to the other side. What's in here? I see an axe. Grab the axe. 
Dump the axe since we're right here. Oh, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Dump the shotgun. Okay, map. Where's the map and the book? The book is usually in here. Let's get around all of Timmy's stuff everywhere. Grab that flashlight, Ted. Come on, grab the flashlight. Grab the flashlight. Cards and the map and the map and the map. Go, 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 Teddy. Go, go, go. We've got everything. We've got it. Oh, get that dim light out of the way. Move. What? Teddy finally made it with all of his stuff. Finally. Oh my gosh. Is this only our second challenge that we've actually managed to, to complete? I think it might be only our second one of all the times we played. Unlocked Teddy something. I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I just unlocked a Ted. I have a Ted. Me and Ted now, we're best friends forever. We made it through a challenge. Woohoo! Now we should see if there's a survival. Holy cow! Wow. So we definitely... Whoa. Um, yeah, that's kind of... I don't know what we just did in that level right there. That guy's eyes are green now. Oh no, <laughs> the electricity just... <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, what is that? I opened a soup thing, a soup crate. What does a soup crate do? I don't know what it did. I just pressed on it. Oh, is it just a survival? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just in a survival one. All right, that was super weird. We looked... Oh, we got extra water. What? Okay, that's a new one. I've not seen that one before. All right, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Great. Our shelves are full. We'll eat from the cans. We'll sleep on the cans. We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. That's a little scary. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. And this is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. All right. Nobody needs anything right now. Play a game, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Right, because we have harmonica, cards, and chess. Or checkers. Not chess. Checkers. Is that the radio? Or is that just radioactive? We played I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. <laughs> Let's see what we got. No supplies. Yes. Time to send out our first expedition. Why are they going crazy with this entire shelter is crawling with little insects? Or worse. It's worse. They're spiders. And not some miniature ones, but huge furry and creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Bring on the bug spray. Nobody likes spiders. Day three. Okay, today's the day we set out our first expedition. Oh, no. We knew these spiders stood no chance against well-aimed bug-killing spray, so we used it. When it was over, the few remaining spiders fled. We started cleaning up and claimed an unexpected prize, a soup can that we didn't notice before. It was well hidden in the shadows and under a few layers of dead spiders. Ew. That's gross. All right, so let's send out Teddy. It's Teddy's turn. Teddy, my friend, what options can we give Teddy? Not much. Not a lot of choices here. Scout book, radio. We have ammunition, soup, water. I say we send him with the gas mask. Let's see what he brings back. If he has time to wander, because he's got his gas mask and he's not going to get super gross outside or dead or anything. Yeah, let's go with that. Yay, day 11 and Ted's back. Hi, Ted. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. The nuke did most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves under the nearby gas station blew up as well. And that, all that was left of that place was a crippled cashier's booth and the remains of several cars. Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill and a quick getaway. They were wrong. A few water bottles were scattered around in the cashier's booth. Perfect. One of the cars had a map inside. Yay. We notice a label which read time machine hidden here and a big red Y marks the spot. Interesting. Uh, we stumbled upon a half eaten sandwich in the cashier's booth and some bug spray. Nice. All right. We're ready for our next expedition. Dolores, Mary Jane. Oh, she's feeling so, so. So it's got to be Mary Jane. It's got to be Dolores or Timmy. Okay, we got to remember that for next time. Ooh, if there's anyone who can rec rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. Okay, so um, we're the, the government are coming and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any sign from them. Okay, cool. We will keep our radio tuned then. I don't know if we have a goal for this or if we just are just going as long as possible. The government has not fallen. They're coming to save us. They didn't give us exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting too long. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. All right, so we're sending, let's send Dolores. And let's send Dolores with the map. Let's send Dolores with the map. Oh yeah, let's do that. I wish I could send her with more stuff. Let's send her with the map and see if she can find anything. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Let's send Timmy. He looks like he's up for a challenge. <gasps> 
Okay, so Timmy went and answered the phone, and it was just callers from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Uh, but the phone got disconnected, so pff, never mind. I don't know what they have to say, but maybe they'll call back again. Mary Jane's injuries were enough to make her angry at us, or at least the fact that we decided not to do anything about them. When we got up, we found a note from her claiming she deserves better, and that she had left for Canada because it has a better public health care system. She's gone to Toronto! Oh no! Day 19, Dolores is back! Okay, so Dolores found uh, wooden furniture, very durable wooden furniture, in the ruins of the town's buildings. We saw a desk and several bookshelves. We soon realized these are amounts of the local public library, so we went to the rubble to investigate. Ah, under the librarian's table, we found a lunchbox. <gasps> Tomato soup. Yep, that's gonna be it. Uh, okay, some sort of vehicle just down the street, but couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expeditions will prove more fruitful. Okay, we're getting ready for our next expedition. Okay, let's send Teddy on back out again. Mr. Ted Ted, let's send him with the map this time and see what he... Or should I send him with something else? Oh, I don't know. Oh, now I'm confused. The axe? Maybe he could use the axe in case he comes across something that he can break down. That might be a good choice. Yay, here it is. Another broadcast for the military. They said they need to locate the general area we're in and that they want us to leave a specific markings close by. They said the markings should be cards. They finally came back to help me. Playing cards. How strange is that? We're supposed to go out to the nearest bus stop and pin the card denoting our head count there. Weird. Perhaps, but if we're doing it, the time is now. Okay, day 21, and we have done what the military requested. Ooh, we might get rescued. But Ted's not here, so that could be an issue. How many cards should we put out? The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the ant army to pinpoint our location. And that shouldn't take too long, we hope. What was that? We don't have a cat. Why is there a cat named Sharikov? Uh, hi, Sharikov. Can I help you? Why is there a cat in our shelter? As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to just be an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its caller says, Sharikov. Is that its name? Oh, hi, Kitty. How'd you get up there, Kitty? Oh, no. Ted is back. Oh, jeez, Ted. Day 26. Ted is safely returned from his voyage. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea wave drowned half of it. Oh no. We're hoping it wasn't the better half. We always thought canned soup was made in America. Apparently it's made in another country with a weird name that we didn't recognize. According to the crate's date stamp, the shipment came after the blast. Hmm. Weird. We returned from the expedition, but our axe didn't make it. The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could be the owner? We've kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to take a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. Ted became infected with something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Ted. Ted looks terrible. Somebody's knocking. The cat made a choice to stay here and we'll respect it. Truth be told, if the previous owner cared about the cat at all, they wouldn't have let it run away. Maybe they weren't very good people. Maybe they weren't very alive after the nuke drop. Either way, very careless. Okay. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us. It's been a while, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with fire I should dispose of them before they get rescued. We don't know what this is about, but it sounds like violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws and rights left, or is it everyone for themselves? I'm not going to turn over my weapon, because I, I don't want to do that. Oh, that sounds like Dolores might be back. That was fast. Okay, she looks a little peakish too. Oh no, Ted has an allergy to our furry guest. Oh no! Oh no, we need medication. Oh yes! Glad to see Dolores come back safely. Our expedition was able to get to a local hospital. It appears that the blast blew up some of the upper floors. Beds, ugh, with some patients still on them, and shards of medical supplies were lying all over the place. However, after exploring the first floor, we concluded that majority of people inside evacuated the building in time. Yay, the canteen had soup, we got more water, and it wasn't hard to find a fully equipped first aid kit in a hospital after all. Yay! Oh, and we found an axe. Cool. One of the dead patients had an axe sticking out of his back. Oh. Oh, no, according to his chart, he was feeling perfectly fine before the atomic blast. Hmm, we decided he probably don't need that axe anymore. Now it's ours. Okay. Oh no, our expedition was followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Oh no. During our last expedition, we finally approached that nearby vehicle. It was an ice cream truck, missing wheels, and a few other crucial components. The outside was rusty and a little bent, beat up. If we hope to ever drive away from here, we should scavenge for something to reinforce it. Anything we should grab for this little supply run. Let's take an axe, because that way if we need to cut anything out, we've got something. Ted's looking better. We chop some wood into pointed sticks and attach those to the vehicle. Sharp, efficient, and also helpful in collecting trash along the way. This was a fun project. We accidentally chopped up the axe handle as well. Not sure how, but it's all part of the installation now. Great! Let's send Timmy outside with his scout book. I feel like being the scout that he is, if he has his scout book, he can totally survive. Oh no, 
the kitty's gone. Sharikov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited only by a lone resident, a self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus, converted into a lab to conduct experiments. The dog seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect. We exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a spaceship. Oh, great. Oh, cradlings. We need the radio to talk to the military. The cat's back. Oh, jeez. Okay, Sharikov, what happened? Uh, Tinker without precious radio sounds like a bad idea. Let's just hope it wasn't anything important. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sharikov somehow found its way back into our shelter. Does that mean it'll stay for good? We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. We asked, but it wouldn't tell. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. <laughs> oh, day 41. Sounds like Timmy made it back. Hopefully. Yes, there he is. Oh, geez. He's got the snotty nose going on, though. This could be bad. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from this wasteland, from the wasteland, and is safe with us now. We tried our luck at a nearby bar, fittingly called the World's End. Usually such a respectable family, like our own, would never go there. But this time we gave it a shot, hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Who would have known that tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in a bar? Found a few cans and took them with us. Uh, also found some clean water, if it quenches the thirst. Oh, wait. We didn't expect to find any clean water in the bar, and we weren't wrong. Whatever we found wasn't pure, and it wasn't water. But hey, if it quenches the thirst, it counts. Oh, no. I don't know if we should be drinking that. That doesn't sound great. Oh, okay. The scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it. Oh, no. We may have been spotted as well. Okay, day 41. We're not certain about the situation, but it looks like nobody is actually going to be able to go out on, the death on an expedition. So, that's mm -hmm, all the radio. Day 42. Kind of sounds like music, though. Nothing from the military. Okay, we're still holding on. We did give up our shotgun this time. They didn't have anything new to say. We followed the military orders and got rid of our rifle. We did so with a heavy heart, but if that's the price of getting to safety, we pay it gladly. That doesn't mean we'll never get another one, though. Oh, wait. Oh, it looks like Dolores is confident that she could survive outside. All right, next up, Dolores. Somebody's asking for food. All right, let's send. This is like the fourth time we've had somebody asking for a can of soup. So let's send it. And let's see what we can send Dolores with. Should we send it with a gas mask this time? The authors turned out to be twin siblings. A brother and a sister, they greeted us happily, took us to a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were peoples of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed this is the beginning of a new friendship, and they promised to contact us again soon. Okay, Dolores, what are we sending you out with today? The map again or the gas mask? Let's send it with the gas mask so she doesn't get any more sicker than she already is. Day 50! I think this is a new milestone. Ooh, bit of Morse code coming through the radio. Day 52. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution or a trick. We hope we know what we're getting into. Who should we send? Oh, geez. Okay, I think Ted. Ted, you're up, dude. Oh, Ted looks terrible. <laughs> Ted. It's okay, Ted. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, now there's knocking. Oh, jeez. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldiers asked for us. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. <gasps> we don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. No! Oh, no. We're getting low on supplies. Okay, who are we sending out today? Ted or Timmy? Let's send Ted with the map. Ted, you're up, dude. I think this is like Ted's second or third. I think it's his second expedition. Day 56. All right, the map's gone. Everything's starting to look a little bare in here. Oh, no. It's looking a little bare in here now. All right, Timmy. You just got to hold on until the military gets here, man. We still got the radio. We can hear them. We're almost up to day 60. It's like two whole months. Oh, no. The, the gang of thugs is back again. Should we play some harmonica for them? Maybe they'll just take the harmonica in payment for not stealing our supplies. Day 59. Well, we're still here. And the harmonica's still here, so they didn't take it. They lowered lowered down their weapons and cried a few tears, surprised by the beauty of our music. They will let us live today. <laughs> oh, we played music and made them love us. Oh, what? What we initially thought was thunder turned out to be heavy knocking on the door. Someone either hates that door or is very determined to have someone answer it. Should we answer the door? At this point, I don't know what we got to lose. I mean, oh no! <laughs> Maybe I should. Oh, it's the bad guys. And Timmy's all by himself. There's nobody here. <gasps> oh, no. Poor Timmy. That's the end. That's the end of us. We open the door expecting friendly faces. Instead, we were beaten, tied up, and forced to watch a band of raiders plunder our home. If there was ever a time when we thought of our shelter as home, it was right then. These thugs didn't seem to care what happened to us. Whether we lived or died, we don't see a bright future for us. Ted has been outside for far too long and still has not returned, and we fear he isn't coming back. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We held out for 60 days. 
Oh, yes. Look at all those things we accomplished. Oh, wait. Invading by raiders. Indeter indeterminate and grim fate. Ted did not return. A lot of things happened on day 60. It was a busy day. Oh, I can't believe it. We were so close. You perished. Look, Ted's the only one left. Ted, where did you go? Oh, no. Okay, day survived 60. 12 waters consumed. 10.5 soup cans. We defended our shelter three times. Uh, let's see. We had five of seven successful expeditions. We brought home 17 items. That might be the best one so far. Seven no. Six yes. And adventure. Oh, my gosh. Look. Look at the, look at the ice cream truck. Oh, that's hilarious. It's all covered in, like, sticks and stuff that's perfect all right guys well this is all we got time for today this is 60 seconds reatomized the ted edition i guess ted ted did most of the stuff on this one he was the only one to maybe survive we don't know he disappeared into the wasteland all right guys well if you enjoyed this video make sure you head on down below hit that subscribe button to ring that bell and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out membership information in the box below exclusive content just for daisy's bad membership people oh ufo hi ufo including content emojis and badges just for you guys exclusively so until next time i will see you guys later bye